Well then, let's get started. The first SCP is a Slayer's Song, aka SCP-2301. <laughs> Item, SCP-2301. Object Class, Keter. Special Containment Procedures. Provisional Containment Zone, Delta-3. It's been constructed surrounding SCP-2301's manifestation area. At any given time, no fewer than two containment teams, designated Alpha and Beta, must be present, within a third relief team on active standby. On Alpha team, Alpha team is to be equipped with period-accurate 15th century Japanese lamellar armor and a full set of period-accurate weapons commonly used by the samurai class of feudal Japan. In addition, each containment team member is to receive extensive training in traditional kabuki acting, along with classes on basic Japanese mythology and Shintoism. Beta team is to be equipped with period accurate 15th century Gothic plate armor and a full set of period accurate weapons commonly used by the Knights of Feudal Germany. In addition, each containment team member is to receive extensive training and European theater arts, along with, with classes in medieval texts concerning dragons. During the manifestation event, all personnel must remain in character at all times. Once 2301 is terminated, all personnel must remain in character until all the components of 2301 have decayed. Should 2301 manifest in a different form, the standby team will be mobilized to determine the method in which 2301 should be confronted. Declass personnel will be used to distract 2301 approaching a popular population center until a solution can be found. Description SCP-2301 is a hostile, metamorphic entity that manifests and redacted every month and takes the form of various antagonists from different fables, plays, or legends, notably that, that of Japanese and European origin. 2301 cannot be damaged unless it receives its attackers to correctly be the, those that would defeat such a character in, in a legend or play in which it would be found. Therefore, therefore should 2301 manifest as a European-style dragon, it can only be harmed by those that it perceives to be medieval knights. This also applies to be containing 2301. In modern containment procedures such as, as reinforced gear class, hostile anomaly chambers can, can easily be destroyed by or bypassed by 2301. 2301 can also get given enough time to destroy period accurate containment such as chains or cages. 2301 will remain in character as the particular antagonist that it, it has manifested as for the duration of an event. It is critical that personnel remain in character and exchange dialogue with 2301 while in combat with the entity. Due to the fact that 2301 will not accept individuals that it perceives as not playing the role to its satisfaction. Once 2301 determines that an individual to be insufficiently in character, said individual will be unable to harm 2301 for the duration of the manifestation event. A manifestation event ends when, when 2301 has been sufficiently damaged to the point at which it can no longer function, causing 2301's body to rapidly decompose. Should one of the individuals that participated in terminating 2301 fail to remain in character until the body is fully decomposed, 2301 will re-manifest. Active containment personnel have re reported that 2301 is incredibly durable and lethal. 2301 possesses all the capabilities of the character that it, choose, it chooses to represent in a particular manifestation event. Similarly, possesses the same weaknesses. 
2301 originally manifested only as a character from Japanese folklore. However, beginning on the date of Redacted, 2301 began manifest as says, creatures from the medieval European mythology. Currently, 2301 summits in replicating characters from other cultures is unknown. 2301 most commonly manifests as a Japanese Oni, a type of demon that wields a katabo, which is a type of long Japanese club, in combat. Said creatures is no noted as incredibly strong in various myths and legends, and is also described as a humanoid entity with the same horns, claws, and a blue or red skin coloration. 2301 is roughly 2 meters in height, and in this form has been demonstrated as strong enough to fully collapse a human chest protected by lamellar armor with its katabo. 2301's mo second most commonly manifest as a European dragon. In this form, 2301 possesses two winged, winged forelimbs with a wingspan of 25 meters and two clawed hind limbs. 2301 is roughly 7 meters tall in this form and is capable of producing fire in ex excess of 1000 degrees Celsius. I don't know what that is in Fahrenheit. From within its throat. Through an as of yet unknown mechanism. 2301's purpose during a manifestation event is currently understood to be of complete enmity towards all human life. 2301 is demonstrated to immediately attempt to navigate towards the largest populations that are available and will attempt to kill any human that it encounters. Despite this, 2301 possesses a superb grasp of human culture, specifically Germanic and Japanese history and languages, literature, and mythology. 2301's origin of, or method of acquiring this information is currently unknown. Yeah, SCP Timber. It was given by a friend of mine. Perfect name. Alright, so that's the SCP-2301. Okay, so here's one thing that I gonna want to do. Uh, we're gonna do this. Why well, should I do this? Because it could be different times on another armor. Go here, 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 and here. Okay. Okay, so this is basically what the armor is going to look like. Okay. So that's the uh, Japanese one. Okay. Okay, so that's the chairman one. Wow, they really did not protect the crotch. Poor man who had to wear this. <laughs> the crotch is their one weak spot. Wait, what the fuck is with the feet? What the fuck is with the feet? I just noticed that. <laughs> I don't think that's the correct. Is that all? Oh, I'm seeing it happen in multiple ones. Why did they think that was a wise decision? I don't. Okay. <laughs> all right. Now for the last thing. Which is this. Okay, so it's that. I thought that's what I like think, but just want to make sure. Okay. And 
Let's see what the thumbnail is. I... What the f... <laughs> what the fuck? That has nothing to do with the anomaly. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it has the nickname Slayer Song, but that's not the anomaly. What the fuck? Seeing how the thumbnail shows nothing to do with the anomaly. It's a four. <sighs> My God. He has made sure they get they got the correct one. Yep. Excuse me a moment. Sorry about that. I didn't mean to sneeze on stream. All right. Are all danger noodles ready? I'm assuming by the signs mean yes. Alright. In three, two, one. Foul tarnished. In search of the Elden Ring. Emboldened by the flame of ambition. What? Neither of the forms would it look like this. That's neither an Oni nor a dragon. Someone must extinguish thy flame. The knight looked back at the man behind him. This is not what I signed up for! What the hell is that thing? Shut up! Stay in character, Agent! Screw this! This is messed up! I said stay in character or... But before he could finish his sentence, the half-human creature snatched him up and threw him to the ground. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What the hell is that thing? SCP-2301. SCP-2301 is a dragon. Or an oni. That's some kind of demigod creature. How the hell did SCP-2301 become that? Because it doesn't! It doesn't! <laughs> it doesn't become this! Oh my god. It appears someone downloaded Elden Ring onto a secure terminal. 2301 must have accessed the game and decided it was better than the usual legends it reads. Just play the rest. Damn it. We've got an agent down. Repeat. Agent down. Kloss's voice came through the agent's earpiece. Stay in character, you idiot, or you'll end up like Gibson. The agent looked up at the monster he was supposed to fight and whispered to himself, Calm down. It won't hurt you if you stay in character. You got this. He pulled out his katana and took a deep breath. Oh man, this better freaking work. He plunged it deep into his stomach. What the fuck? And then pulled the blade back out. Well, I'll be damned, Margit. 
Prepare yourself. This is one tarnish that ain't going down so easy. He ran forward and unloaded a fury of sword strikes at the creature. As he stepped back, it spoke to him. I shall remember thee, tarnished. And disappeared. Welcome back. Today I bring you SCP-2301, Slayer's Song. Don't forget to subscribe. Well, that ain't good. Who downloaded the game, and how are they enjoying being a D-Class now? That doesn't matter. What matters is we expect another manifestation event very soon, and we don't have an agent to fill Gibson's role. Chen nodded his head in thought. Wait, you don't mean... Oh, no. Nope. Ain't happening. Look, I've got your back. You're coming in too? Well, when I say I've got your back, I mean from here. Like way back. Yeah, Ow. that's what I figured. Stop sulking. You stop sulking. You aren't the one having to fight something called the Fell Omen, which has like a million horns. Don't exaggerate. He's only got like six horns or something. Thanks, Doc. I feel so much better now. What the fuck Marissa, is happening? Tell me you've got something for me. You're in luck, Agent Chen. I've been doing my Elton. research on this L. It. Oh my god. This SCP takes things from mythology of real life, not video games. Oh my. I'm gonna lose it. Did they even read the anomaly? So far, it only takes from German folklore and Japanese folklore. And I'm pretty sure, if I'm correctly, Elden Ring takes from Irish folklore. Which is neither of what the anomaly goes after. Okay. Elden Ring. Off-site, of course. Can't risk another security breach, can we, Dr. Kloss? Anywho, I think I've got some armor and weapons which you'll like. She rummaged around in the drawers behind her and presented Chen with a loincloth. Okay. Here's one thing. That would have been decomposed. Along with the anomaly. Secondly. That is not a conabel. This is a conabel. They're quite different. And a large club. Chen looked at the items on the table, then at Marissa, then back to the items. I understand this is what the best players use in the game. Oh, is it now? Well, isn't that wonderful for them? I'm not wearing that. Marissa let out a giggle. <laughs> Just teasing. We're preparing your armor and weapons now. They'll be ready on time, Agent. Good day. Hey. Chen walked the arena what with the cloths. Fuck? It was a large, coliseum-type structure. They built this a while ago on the location that SCP-2301 used to manifest. The women? <laughs> it used to be a small town, so you can imagine the chaos and havoc that happened on a monthly basis. What else do I need to know about this thing? It's pretty simple, actually. Uh, 2301 likes to put on a performance. Uh, you're an actor in its play. Follow the role and stay in character and you'll win the day break character or do something unmatching to the story and it'll stop taking damage and you're going to have a really bad day sounds simple enough i suppose i just need to study this margit's moose set and we should be fine that's and how to be a tarnished chen was sleeping soundly when he heard a knock at the door Agent Chen, SCP-2301 manifestation event imminent eta three hours sir yeah, yeah. Wake me up in an hour. But, sir, uh... An hour, Agent. Sixty minutes. Um... Yes, sir. What the fuck? Are you serious? 
Why? What's wrong with it? Chen sighed. <sighs> nothing, nothing. This should work, but this thing looks like it weighs about 20 kilos. How do you expect me to wield it? Don't worry about that. Remember, it's all about the performance. 2301 will lend you some of its powers if it'll make the show better. Fantastic. It's not how it works. He stepped into the arena, head to toe, in what Elden the Ring What the fuck gear. is happening? Dragging behind him was a massive sword. Across the arena stood the demigod. Chen whispered, I thought you said I'd be able to lift this thing. It still weighs a ton. Foul tarnished. In search of the Elden Ring. Yeah, yeah. Listen up, 2301. I'm no tarnished. I'm Chen, and I'm the guy who's gonna send you packing. Margit what the stopped fuck? and looked at him. What are you doing? I told you not to break character. Margit stepped backwards and vanished. Didn't even break a sweat. Don't know what you guys were all worried about. And FYI, I can still hardly lift this thing. The air stirred. Something came crashing down before Chen. It was a massive, two-headed dragon. Oh, boy. It's reverted back to one of its favorite manifestations. It wasn't two-headed. It was one. Words appeared to float before him. Um, I still can't lift the sword. You broke character. It isn't going to help you. Oh, snap. The dragon took a step forward and opened its mouth. A red aura started to form around it. Oh, man. This is bad. From behind Chen's head, something flew past, hitting the dragon in the face. It stepped back and collapsed to the ground. Chen turned what? around to see Kloss behind him, staff in hand. <laughs> Always wanted to try a one-shot magic build. 2301 what? will remain in character as a particular antagonist that it has manifested as for the duration of an event. It is critical that personnel remain in character and exchange dialogue with SCP-2301 while in combat with the entity, due to the fact that 2301 will not accept individuals that it perceives as not playing the role to its satisfaction. What? Once 2301 determines an individual to be insufficiently in character, said individual will be unable to harm 2301 for the duration of the manifestation event. SCP-2301 is a hostile metamorphic entity that manifests in every month and takes the form of various antagonists from different fables, plays, or legends, notably that of Japanese and European origin. Right. 2301 cannot be Except you're not showing unless it. Unless it perceives its attackers to correctly be those that would defeat such a character in the legend or play in which it would be found. Therefore, should 2301 manifest as a European-style dragon, it can only be harmed by those that it perceives to be medieval knights. This also applies to containing 2301, in that modern containment procedures, such as reinforced Keter-class hostile anomaly chambers, can easily be destroyed or bypassed by 2301. 2301 can also, given enough time, destroy period-accurate containment, such as chains or cages. 2301 most commonly manifests as a Japanese Oni, a type of demon that wields a kanobo in combat. SCP-2301, second most commonly manifests as a European dragon. In this form, 2301 possesses two winged forelimbs with a wingspan of 25 meters Wait, and two hurts. forward hind limbs. 2301 is roughly seven meters tall in this form and is capable of producing fire in excess of 1000 degrees Celsius from within its throat through an as of yet unknown mechanism. Provisional Containment Zone Delta-3 has been constructed surrounding 2301's manifestation area. At any given time, no fewer than two containment teams, designated Alpha and Beta, must be present, with a third relief team on active standby. Alpha Team is to be equipped with period-accurate 15th century Japanese lamellar armor happening. and a full set of period-accurate weapons commonly used by the samurai class of feudal Japan. Beta Team is to be equipped with period-accurate 15th century Gothic plate armor and a full set of period-accurate weapons commonly used by the Knights of Feudal Germany. During a manifestation event, all personnel must remain in character at all times. Once 2301 is terminated, Why is there all a personnel cat? must remain in character until all components of 2301 have decayed. Should 2301 manifest in a different form, the standby team will be mobilized to determine the method in which 2301 should be confronted. 
D-Class personnel will be used to distract SCP-2301 from approaching a population center until a solution can be found. Rules have a place and should never be considered lightly. Breaking them can have unexpected consequences. However, true intelligence is being able to judge when and where a rule should be disregarded. As what always, have fuck? a care and remember to subscribe, like, and share if you would. Until I what? Okay. Removal of character slash license. Well. Wasn't really any characters except they technically removed you know what it actually manifests into as well as the fucking armor and weapons they would use. Oh my god, this hurts. I'll go with three because they removed way too much shit. Added gore or violence? I give it. Mm. I give it a one mainly because they. Act no, that's two. Whoops. Okay, one, because they only added the, um, Elden Ring magic shit, which wasn't a thing at all. Damien's from the plot of the article four. Immensely. <laughs> it immensely fell off on the article. So much so. Because it had nothing to do with fucking Elden Ring. Only men in a video slash offensiveness. I'm giving this one only a four because they removed all of the. They removed basically the European and Japanese folklore to replace it with fucking Elden Ring. That's the only reason I'll give it a four. Alright. Fucking hell. Twenty percent. 